everybody, we are doing Imagine It on location once again. I have Carl Nelson here, the chief scientist, or um, I don't know, I might call you a mixologist today. Kind of, and this is so cool. This is something you can totally do at home with stuff you have in the kitchen. Okay, so parents, listen up. Now is the time where you can totally do this at home, so listen. We're gonna talk about density. Density is a measure of how much mass there is per volume. Okay, Okay. Sure. So your very first cup there mm -hmm. has some honey in it. Honey. What I want you to do is very carefully just pour that right into our uh, glass vase. Yeah, right. Try not to hit the side, but just dump the whole thing right down in there. Now, honey, if you've ever played with it, ever poured it, you know, it's, it's very thick, it's very viscous, yeah. and it's relatively dense. It's denser than water. Okay, sticks to everything. And this, this is going to get messy, so don't worry if you make a mess. All right. <clears throat> so, honey, I want to see if we can actually float on top of that liquid mm -hmm. another liquid which would be corn syrup. Okay, which okay. a lot of us have in the cupboard, especially if you like to bake. Okay. Yes, now the, the technique here, the thing that's gonna make the, make or break this All is right. that oh if boy. we just pour this way high up here, uh -huh. it'll have enough velocity that'll mix with the honey and then we'll have a, a mixture as opposed to two layers. All right. That's where the bent spoon mm. comes into play. Okay. Okay, so all you need to do is, with permission, I guess, procure one of these or make one with the power of your mind, I don't know. All right. But put that just above the liquid level and then you're gonna pour the next liquid right onto the spoon. That should help Good. divert it, stop it from mixing up too much. And it does get a little messy and then you can just pull the spoon out. Try not to get it on the sides. Okay, oh, okay. And, ah. if, and if we did that right, this is gonna settle, okay? By the time okay. we're done, we should see two layers there. All right. And you don't have to be too gentle with it. You can actually be a little okay. bit more, just right. dump, it, dump it right on in there. All right, sounds and good. And that's what the spoon is helping us with. Now this first layer, like I said, is gonna be a little messy. Sure. But the next layer is gonna be a layer of whole milk. Oh, all right, all right. which a, a lot of people have in the fridge. A little okay. bit less dense than the corn syrup. Okay, and it's and, all right that the, the spoon's all yeah, corn Yeah, don't, don't worry syrupy. about it. If you, if you really wanted to make this beautiful, you'd wash the spoon between each time. Yeah, we don't have time for that, Carl. We don't have time for that. We all only right. have a few minutes here. So just go ahead and pour the milk right on top. All right. And you can kind of lift the spoon up as you go a little bit. Okay. And as you can see, it's, it's actually starting to work. We're getting a yeah. nice layer of... Except I'm hitting the sides. That's okay. That's okay. You know, the other liquids when they come in, and the next time you do this at home for a party, it'll okay. it'll all be beautiful. All right, it's starting to look pretty cool, kind of lava lampy. Dawn dish detergent. All right, we all have nice, this at home. Nice sure. blue, and you know, part of this is is picking things that have some nice colors and densities Oops. so that they when they layer, mm -hmm. it it sort of looks pretty, it looks yeah. attractive, right? And you know what? You can tell this is working because for a second there, I dropped some down. It went below the milk and then popped back up. Exactly because it is less dense than milk, so it Very will cool. pop back up. Ooh. Look at that, it looks like a popsicle. A little vegetable oil. All right. All right, we all know that oil floats on water. Yep. It's also gonna float on detergent as well. Okay, which is basically done, all right. And if you wanted to, you could actually use some food coloring to color Oh, so there would some be more colorful layers? You, you, all could, right. you could color the milk if you wanted to. Final Pretty layer cool. is lamp oil. Okay. okay the stuff you'd put in a, in a, in a oil lamp. Oh, okay, I was wondering, so, that's not as common, but maybe for the campers out there. You, you can pick it up in most grocery stores, all surprisingly. Right. And when you're all done, look at that. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six layers of yeah, fluids wow. layered on top of one another. That is pretty cool. And we're actually seeing some of the lights hitting us right now from the cameras, and that's making it look even cooler, almost like a little lamp. Actually, I misspoke. That wasn't lamp oil. This is the lamp oil. So oh, okay. That was actually a little bit of alcohol that I colored green. So oh, we can right. actually add lamp oil on top, and we can, I'll, I'll top yours off as well. Sounds good. We can actually have a, what is that, a seven layer liquid? Column now. That is really cool. So this is something that you can do at home with the kids. We're running out of time, but guess what? We created these really neat things, and this is a way to not only get your kids involved, but then teach them. Oh wow, we're dropping right. cherry tomatoes. You can and drop dye things in, in them, and the cherry tomato it will stops end at up the dish soap. Stop at the dish soap. Whereas the dye actually goes a little bit lower because yeah. it is more dense. Okay, I'm gonna turn this so we can see that. That is so cool. So that's another thing. Once you get done, you can throw in the household items. Exactly. See what... Experiment with density. Yeah. You can actually calculate the density of a cherry tomato based upon the liquids that you put inside. There you go. A little bit of science <laughs> and you can do it all at home on a Saturday morning. Carl Nelson, thanks so much. Sure. This is a fun way to get involved and I'm a little bit sticky right now. A little bit of that honey gets everywhere. <laughs> if you want to come down to the Imagination Station, just a reminder, it's Saturday. That means Lucas County children 12 and under get in free with a paid adult.